Alright, here we are doing a test on both the Hohem iSteady Pro and also the Gcam S9R combined. Here we are uh, dropping off my wife to work. That's my daughter right there. For me, it's pretty smooth. I, I like it. A lot of people want more, but I'm okay with this. My daughter's gonna help my uh, my wife get down the stairs. She's pregnant, by the way. You know, it's going down the stairs. It's pretty good. Pretty stable. Just have a little hard time there twisting that, adjusting for the pan. Uh, that was a uh, low light condition. This one has no light, so here we are down at, at the parking lot. It's very low light, very stable though. But look how dark it is back there. All right, here we are in the car, trying it out. Um, low light condition. I'm shooting at 1080p at 30 frames per second. And we're under underpass. It's not that shaky. The ice steady is doing pretty well. Sorry about the glare because my wind my windshield is slightly dirty. Taking a turn here, the gimbal try to compensate. Not bad. Very low light. Here we are, almost no light at all. Those lamp posts don't do any justice. Even my headlights kind of hard to uh, distinguish. And again, this is on auto mode, so no adjust, no adjustments. Pretty steady though. like watching paint dry just trying to see if you can pick up on the dash there but the speedometer once again there's very minimal um, post light or light post my bad It's totally dark. Once again, you can see my car bouncing up and down, but it's pretty steady as you can tell by the light post. And we're here, back home, semi lit area. And all these lights are LED around our building. No flickering or anything like that. So my daughter drop her her beanie there. Killing my battery. Not bad, very stable for me. I mean, for what I use it for, it's okay. So anyways guys, I'm going to link up this video to both items. They 
thank you very much for uh, watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, get a hold of me of any questions on Facebook. Very nice pan there. A little slow, but not bad. You can adjust it from the app, the speed. But once again, I will be messing with this a little bit more. Thanks, guys.